Time now for The Clash. And if Nicola Sturgeon's record in government wasn't enough to have destroyed the SNP's reputation, her arrest over the weekend in connection to the party's finances scandal might well prove the final nail in the coffin. Sturgeon's failed leadership saw Scotland become the drug death capital of Europe, their health service crushed and the educational attainment gap massively increased. And let's not forget her doomed gender recognition bill and the fact she allowed a double rapist to be sent to a women's jail. Yet who could have imagined the reputational capitulation that's in Ensued since Nicola's infamous resignation just a few months ago. Right, with that, I'm going to depart. First minister, just one there. factual point. Have you been or do you expect to be interviewed by the police who are looking into your not, party's I'm finances? Not to, I'm not going to discuss uh, an ongoing police investigation. I wouldn't do that on any issue and I'm not going to do it now. Thank you. It's a very simple question for you tonight. Has Nicola Sturgeon destroyed the SNP? Dan at GBNews.com. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. But doing battle on this tonight, Sturgeon loyalist Austin Sheridan, a former SNP rep and former Conservative Party minister Edwina Curry. Austin Sheridan, given Nicola Sturgeon's terrible record and the reputational damage she's now uh, unleashing on your party, how on earth can you stand by her? Nicola Sturgeon has a great record in government and has done lots of good things to help no, people in Scotland. Uh, but, but, but most importantly, um, Dan, um, when, you, when we look at, um, at the projections um, of how the SNP um, would perform in terms of public opinion, uh, that the SNP still continue um, to lead um, in opinion polls. Every single opinion poll for both the Westminster election will be determining a substantial number of okay, members the, to the Westminster But Austin, year, Austin and, the polls are going uh, down. So the polls August are going the down. Rest. You say she's a viable asset. I put it to you that, in fact, she is becoming a liability. I mean, you put that, but I don't, I don't agree with that assumption, Dan. Um, I think Nicola Sturgeon has been a fantastic asset to the SNP. Um, I hope that she'll continue um, to, to provide us with, with, with her skills. I believe that Nicola Sturgeon's got a role to play on the international stage um, when it comes to, to persuading people um, of independence. Uh, but in terms of the way things are looking now, um, is the SNP still continue to lead um, in opinion polls? Uh, in fact, there was a recent opinion poll uh, which put the SNP on, on 60 seats for... Yeah, but for the, the, it's going down. It's going uh, down. Okay, so I hear your point. I want to let Edwina respond to that. Edwina. So Austin says, look, actually, she's still got a role to play. She, she's an asset, Edwina. No, no, no. She's toast. She's living in absolute cloud cuckoo land, uh, just like some of the uh, people that are still supporting Boris, um, I'm afraid, uh, Dan. Look, I'm, I'm naturally opposed to the anything that's called nationalist, Scottish nationalist party national socialism, national conservatism, because, you know, who's going to decide who's a member of that nation and who isn't? How are you going to decide? The shape of our noses or something like that? Uh, if it was called the Scottish Independence Party, it would be more accurate, not least because actually that's all they've concentrated on. It's the only thing that they've had any measure or any, any element of public support on, the way they've run Scotland with huge support of billions and billions of pounds from England has been awful. Incidentally, here's a nice piece of trivia. Do you know that Hamza Yusuf is the first leader of the SNP for 20 years who hasn't been arrested? Now, there you go. Uh, even even the Conservatives are doing better than that. Yeah, I mean, also, so, no, I... this is an embarrassment to your party, isn't it? I, I mean, look, I, I know that no one has been charged at this point, but the, the, the stench of scandal has shamed the SNP. And at the end of the day, while we can't go into details of the case, Austin, uh, no one's donating to the SNP. You literally were only able to rake in about £4,000 from one man in the first quarter of this year because no one trusts what you're going to do with their money. Well, Dan, uh, first of all, um, uh, what I would say um, is that f what Edwina was talking about in terms of nationalism, the SNP is a, is a civic nationalist party. Um, we were the first um, party. No, you're a separatist a, 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 party, a, a, in my a view. Asian member, an Asian member of the Scottish Parliament. And Bashir Ahmed, God rest his soul, uh, um, he, put it, um, he put it very well when he said it doesn't matter where we come from, it's where we're going together. Um, Scotland is an open nation. Scotland wants to rejoin the, the well, the SNP wants Scotland to rejoin the European Union. Uh, 
uh, we don't subscribe to the kind of British... Okay, yeah, no, I get that. I get what the SNP is. is. I get what the SNP is. What I'm saying to you is that because of the Sturgeon scandal and the scandal around the, the finances, mm -hmm. no one wants to donate to your party. You're nearly going under. You're nearly bankrupt. It's, That's it's, what I'm it's, saying it's, it's to you. It's not a Sturgeon scandal, though. Um, Nicola Sturgeon was arrested and then released without charge. Um, so until then, uh, we all have a presumption of innocence. And Nicola Sturgeon um, is entitled to that. Um, in terms um, of donations to the party, I mean, I've seen um, online that there's been a number of people uh, that have actually been donating money um, um, to the One. SNP. Uh, one the SNP, um, one the man um, and they're all being completed and um, so as far as i'm concerned the SNP finance at this moment in time um, are in good order um, and hamza yusuf and the strong and decisive leadership have ensured that that's been the case okay well i call and him hamza useless and, and i call him hamza useless but, 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 within but, the opinion polls but edwina polls, isn't this part of the issue isn't where austin's coming from on this part of the issue with the SNP? it's almost become like a cult it's become like the cult of sturgeon and I know we can't talk about the, the case, but I'm not meaning that, Edwina. She was a failure as First Minister. There's no reason to stand by this woman. She's left Scotland as a nation in a far worse place than it was when she took the job. Well, I think that's absolutely right. Uh, and the way in which they have actually fallen in the polls. And remember, we have not yet had a an opinion poll since her arrest. Uh, that's going to be a very interesting one. Um, you're absolutely right. In the end, I think government should be judged on the results that they deliver for the people that, that they are elected to look after. And that includes all the people who are not uh, supporters of that particular political party. Um, I mean, it seems to me that the SNP has only ever looked after itself and that is a shame and it is more than obvious there is a question to answer where did that six hundred thousand pounds go and one of the answers to that is going to be the smp will not be able to afford to pay its staff or pay the rent on its property uh, it may have to go and live in that uh, motor caravan exactly fact, by and then, <laughs> that's all it's going to yeah, be that doing. looks very nice <laughs> though to be honest doesn't it indeed finances. i mean the snp and um, as you and, and the books um, are, are fully audited and the, and the snp's financial position is absolutely sound i mean let's see let's, let's see you're sounding like sturgeon <laughs> we'll see time will tell austin sheridan edwina curry thank you both so much the question to you has nicholas sturgeon destroyed the snp phoenix rights i vote yes with a heavy heart i have Scottish heritage and the people of Scotland deserve a strong leader and someone who stands for the people. Nicola was neither. From Roger, this is via Twitter. Nope, they'll continue to plod on like nothing's happened. And Rutland writes, yes, she has, but long before this financial scandal was uncovered, she was more concerned with pandering to trans sex offenders than dealing with the real issues facing the Scottish people. And your verdict is now in. It's not a pretty one for scheming surgeon. 89% of you believe that she has destroyed the SNP. Just 11% of you say she has not.